What up YouTube? So I have this look for you guys today and it is inspired by Hailey Steinfeld and it was a look that she wore at the Oscars last night. I felt like recreating it and I really fell in love with it when I first saw it. It definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. I don't usually do looks like this ever. Her skin was just really good. Her face was structured and I just really wanted to go for a smoky pink lip with like a structured look so I hope I accomplished that today and the makeup artist that did her look Mary Phillips and she is amazing she did her look as well as Chrissy Teigen who I am obsessed with but they both look beautiful beautiful for the Oscars and I feel like this look is like bride appropriate as well so if you are gonna be a bride and you're gonna be doing your own makeup but I hope you guys like the look and if you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. I don't mind this. It's just a pimple on my chest and I was picking at it so that's why it's red. The dress I'm wearing for today for this look, I got it in LA District, downtown LA. And this was actually my wedding dress. I did get married a couple years ago, like always. What I like to do is start with the eyes, concealing the lid as well as underneath the brow with LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. Now I'm going to set my eyes with translucent powder and I'm going to be using Laura Mercier's Loose setting powder in translucent. Did I just repeat myself? Speaking of wedding dress, I do have a video here on my YouTube of our wedding. One of our good friends was able to capture clips and stuff from our wedding and pictures as well and then I just compiled them together. I just wanted to have memories of it. Being last minute, we didn't on, like obviously have the money to go all out but it was a memorable one for me. I mean obviously my only one but it was memorable for me. I am gonna go in with the Morphe 35O palette. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and I'm going to apply that into the transition and just just in the crease. So the only thing about her look is it's very like cat eye like. Instead of bringing it down a lot I want to kind of make it go out. I'm going to take this shimmery shade right here. I'm going to take that on the fluffy brush and I'm going to apply it into the crease kind of below it and work my way up but also getting it onto the lid as well. So then I'm going to go in with this brush just to pack on a little bit more color. I'm going to take this yellow shade right here and I'm going to apply it to the brow bone. I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to take this brush. It's like an angled brush that you can use to apply eyeliner. And I'm going to line my lash line with a flat shader brush like this. So I'm going to go in with this shade, this golden shade. And I'm going to apply that on the inner two-thirds of my lid. For the lashes, I am going to be using... These ones by Luscious Lash Hawaii in the style Heart Throb. So this one has a little flare to it, but not too much. So I'm just going to put the other one and then we will work on the rest of the face. So we're just going to be applying MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Illuminating Base Primer in the shade Radiant Yellow. So for foundation, I want to keep the glowiness going. So I'm going to mix L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 208 Sun Beige with Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in the shade Medium Honey. And I feel like her foundation wasn't full coverage, although it did even out her skin tone. Um, I feel like there were a few beauty marks that were seen. So, I also don't want to go too heavy with the foundation application. Take a beauty sponge. This one is by Real Techniques. I'm just going to blend it out. By the way, if you guys don't know, 
I keep all the products that I use, I list them down below in the description box. So if you ever are wondering what I'm using, I don't list beauty tools though, which I probably should. But it's just because most of the beauty tools I use, I forget where they came from or they don't have a name. But yeah, I put all the products that I use down below. So then for contouring, her contour is snatched. So I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Rich. And you know, she's also, you know, in shape and skin tea, so... So I'm just going to use the beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend. I'm just going to pull that contour to the back. Just doing the same thing. Taking the contour to the back. Then I'm going to blend out the nose. <laughs> So once it's pretty blended, I am going to conceal my under eyes. So I am going to be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. So now I'm going to set my face with Laura Mercier's Transistent Setting Powder. So while that is baking, I am going to be working on the brows and I'm going to switch the battery out. So I will be right back. I am using NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. So I'm going to do the other brow and I will be right back. So that is the brows. I'm going to wipe off the excess powder. So now I am going to work on Ooh, nose contour today. I am going to be working on the face and I'm going to keep it pretty simple because I don't feel like she had too much on the face so I am going to be taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish and this is in Give Me Sun. I'm going to take my face powder brush and I'm just going to blend it out but I'm going to keep it up so that there is still a defined contour line. Now I'm going to take BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Press Powder in the shade 235. Then for blush, I am going to use this one. This is by Makeup Geek. It's not no longer available on their website, so I won't go too in-depth with it. So now I am going to work on the eyes. I'm going to finish them up. I'm going to take this brush that I used earlier, eyeshadow that I used on top, same eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to take it from the outside and bring it pretty low. And I like pushing myself to do this kind of thing because I like normally wouldn't do this on my own. For the inner corners, I'm just going to take that gold shade that I applied on the lid. I'm just going to apply it in there. I don't remember if she had an inner corner highlight, but we will. Just a gold one. <laughs> so to finish up the eyes, I am going to take NYX's eye and eyebrow pencil in the shade black. I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline. So next I'm going to be applying mascara and I'm going to apply Benefits Roller Lash. 
to my bottom lashes as well as to the top to blend in my lashes with the falsies. For the lips, her lips were nude. They were like a pinky nude. I don't know if I have a lip color. Let's try this one. This is Maybelline Daringly Nude 655. I feel like for her lips, they weren't like a pinky nude. They were like a nude pink for her skin tone. So I feel like this is this is pretty close. Now I'm going to apply highlight. I believe she did have highlight, but it was more of like a champagne color. So for highlight, I am going to go with... For highlight, I am going to go with the Becca... Jaclyn Hill collab and I am going to use Prosecco Pop. I'm not going to spritz my face first because I want it to be like a, I don't want it to be like a highlight, I want it to be like a natural highlight. Then I'm going to spritz my face and this will help give the skin an overall dewy look. So that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something. If you want to see any look or any first impression, just leave them down below. If you want to follow me elsewhere, I am on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at Brie K. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one.